Praise the Lord, my sisters and brothers. I'm your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice. And this is the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with God. <laughs> yes, this is now the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with heaven. Now, this show is designed to build you up, to strengthen you, and to encourage you to go into another level in your prayer life. Yes, it's designed by God to catapult you and to launch you forward to another level in your prayer life and we know that it's all done by our lord and savior jesus christ hallelujah we give him all the praise and we give him all the glory hallelujah now father god in the name of jesus we give you all the glory give you all the praise for you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be thanked god you are worthy to be worshiped god we you are worthy lord hallelujah god we're calling upon your holy name god your word says in the book of joel hallelujah that whosoever calls upon the name of the lord shall be saved in jesus name and that word saved just as me say from your sin but say from wherever from whatever you are in the bible says that whosoever calls upon the name of the lord shall be saved that word saved just doesn't mean saved from your sin but saved from whatever you are in so no matter what the trial no matter what the tribulation, no matter what the problem or the predicament, no matter what the, what the situation or the circumstance, no matter what it is, no matter what is named, the Bible says if you call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved, set free, and delivered. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, uh, we're calling upon your holy name for your people, oh God. We're calling upon the name of Jesus. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, oh God, right now. Have mercy on them, that ones that's listening. Have mercy on them. Have mercy on their family members. Have mercy on their sons and daughters. Have mercy, Lord. Jesus, the son of David. Have mercy on our nephews. Have mercy on our nieces. Have mercy, Lord God. Have mercy, Lord, upon our, upon our cousins. Have mercy upon our mothers and our father's father. Hallelujah. Have mercy, Lord. Jesus. Thou son of David, have mercy. Have mercy on our grandparents, our grandmothers, our grandfathers. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on our aunties and our uncles. Have mercy, Lord. In the name of Jesus, have mercy on our city. Have mercy on our state. Have mercy, Lord. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on our country, have mercy on the planet, have mercy on planet earth, have mercy on the earth realm, have mercy on our government officials, have mercy, Lord. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on, the, on, our, on our presbyteria, have mercy on the clergy, have mercy on our pastors, have mercy, Lord, upon the prophets, have mercy, Lord, upon the deacons and the elders and the ministers, have mercy, Lord, on the evangelists and the apostles, have mercy, Lord, on, on all of us, have mercy on the reverends, have mercy, Lord, on the mothers of the church, have mercy on our churches, God, have mercy on the body of Christ, have mercy. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Jesus. If you need mercy, God says it's the right time, it's the right place to call upon the name of the Lord. The, the Bible says in the book of Joel, that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, set free, and delivered. Saved. Saved from all kinds of things saved stay from whatever predicament you are in in the name of Jesus saved delivered from sicknesses and diseases right now God says because you called upon his holy name he's delivering you and saving you from all kinds of financial issues God right now because you have called upon his holy name because you prayed and called upon the name of the Lord he's saving you he's delivering you from oppression depression sadness sorrow and grief you've been delivered right now 
He's delivering you right now in the name of Jesus. Because you call upon the name of the Lord, he saved, he's delivering you from bankruptcy. He's delivering you from lack. He's delivering you from anxiety and worry and fear. He's delivering you from all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases because you called upon the name of the Lord. And when you called upon the name of the Lord, there was an anointing, there was a delivering anointing flowing. It came out of the spirit of the living Jesus and it flowed into your spirit. It flowed into your homes. That anointing, there's an anointing. There's an anointing right now flowing. There's an anointing flowing in your homes. There's an anointing. There's an anointing. Hallelujah. There's an anointing flowing right now, right now. There's an anointing. There's an anointing flowing in your houses, flowing in your cars, and in your offices, flowing on your jobs. There's an anointing flowing in your churches. There's an anointing flowing in your business right now because you called upon the name of the Lord, there's an anointing, there's an anointing, a supernatural anointing, there's an anointing, there's an anointing right now, feel that anointing, there's an anointing right now, since the anointing, there's an anointing right now, all over you, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, there's an anointing, 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 there's an anointing. Now, in the, you know, when we pray about the anointing and we begin to release the anointing, we need to know biblically what the definition of the anointing is. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The anointing, what is the biblical definition of the anointing? It's right in Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Read along with me. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 it reads and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the anointing will be just then and the and, and then let's read that again take our time and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing and it shall come to pass and it shall come to pass and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing right there in chapter 10 verse 27 it gives us the definition of the anointing and what the anointing does it says that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder taken away taken away what's another word for taken away remove you could all just the Bible says his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, but you also could say that, that the burden shall be removed off thy shoulder because the word burden, the word remove, is the same definition of taken away. Taken away means the same thing as removed. So you could say that his burden shall be removed. Okay? And his yoke shall be removed. The burden should be removed and the yoke should be removed. It's, it means the same thing as taken away. Remove means taken away. Remove means to take away. Remove, remove. Remove means take away. So we could also say, and it shall come to pass in the day that his burden shall be removed off thy shoulder and this yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke should be destroyed because of the anointing. So here we have the definition of the anointing. The burden removing, yoke destroying, power of God. We got it right in Isaiah 27. The anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying, power of God. The burden removing, the burden removing, the burden removing, the yoke destroying, power of God. The anointing. The anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying, power of God. It removes burdens and destroys yokes. The anointing removes burdens and destroys yokes. Now, what's a burden anyway? Any heavy load. Anything you're going through is a heavy load on you. Cancer could be a burden. Any type of sickness or disease could be a burden. 
the virus, this coronavirus is a burden. It's considered a yoke or burden. Heart attack, heart issues could be a yoke and a burden to you. Lack and, de and, and deficiency and bankruptcy and debt is a burden or a yoke. Oppression, depression, sadness, sorrow, and grief is a burden and a yoke. Jealousy, envy, sin itself is a burden or a yoke. So if the anointing removes burdens and destroys yokes, could we not also say that the anointing removes cancer and destroys cancer? It removes the virus and destroys the virus. The anointing removes the coronavirus and destroys the coronavirus. It removes cancer and destroys cancer. It removes heart issues and destroys heart issues. The anointing, the bird removing yoke, destroying progress, it removes and destroys. It removes and destroys depression and oppression. It removes and destroys anxiety and fear and worry. It removes and destroys. It removes it and destroys it. It removes it and destroys it. I thank God for the knowing that it, that it removes and destroys. Because if it didn't, if it only removed it, it could come back. If you if you remove a plant off the table, somebody could come put put the plant back on the table if you just you just removed it. But the Bible says that in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed so not only is the anointing removing your sickness your disease your ailment that situation that circumstance and not only is the anointing removing it it's destroying it it's causing it to be obliterated annihilated disintegrated eradicated and blown to smithereens. it doesn't even exist no more the anointing just doesn't just remove it it removes it and destroys it thank god it removes it and destroys it. So it won't come back when you destroy something. It's no, it's non-existent. The anointing not only removes, but it destroys in the name of Jesus. That's what the anointing does. Hallelujah. So God, right now, in the name of Jesus, as we pray, in Jesus' name, I pray for your people, oh God, with the anointing oil. Right now, we pray in the name of Jesus that the anointing, hallelujah, it removes burdens, it destroys yokes. It's removing it right now, right now. Oh God, it's removing the burden and destroying the yoke of cancer. It's the cancer removing cancer, destroying power of God. The anointing right Right now is doing that what is intended to do is removing the coronavirus it's destroying the coronavirus off of your people in the name of Jesus Christ the anointing the bird removing yoke destroying power of God is removing is removing sickness and destroying sickness right now in the name of Jesus oh God your anointing is the disease removing disease destroying power of God in the name of Jesus Christ Roshka Nonomoko God, your anointing right now is removing oppression and destroying oppression. It's removing de depression and destroying depression. It's removing sadness and destroying sadness. It's removing the sorrow and destroying the sorrow. It's removing it. It's removing it and destroying it. It's causing it to be annihilated, obliterated, disintegrated, eradicated, and blown to smithereens right now. It does, and once it's destroyed, it doesn't exist anymore. Thank God for the anointing oil. The anointing is removing lack and destroying lack. The anointing is removing the debts and destroying debt. It's removing it and destroying it. It's removing all kinds of disharmony. It's removing all kinds of disruptions. It's removing all kinds of calamities. It's removing calamity and destroying calamity. It's removing the it's removing it right now. It's removing all kinds of headaches and all kinds of uproars and all kinds of dissemblance. It's removing it and destroying destroying it because the anointing is the bird removing yoke destroying power of God in the name of Jesus 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 now Isaiah 10 27 says it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. The Bible says it's his burden and his yoke. 
Whose burden is it? It said it would take away his burden. That's the burden the enemy put on you. That's not your burden. That's not your yoke. Sickness and disease is not yours. Quit claiming it. Quit playing my heart issue. My lack. My low income. My depression. My oppression. My mental challenge. It's not yours. It says, it's, the Bible says it's his burden. It's his. It's Satan. Satan put that burden on you. So quit claiming it. Quit claiming it. It's not your burden. It's not your sickness, your sugar diabetes, your hypertension. Your, it's not yours. It is not your. That's his burden. That's Satan's burden and his yoke that he put on you. We're not claiming it any longer. We're not taking ownership of it any longer. It's not your cross to bear. It's not your lot in life. God didn't give it to you, so quit claiming it and receiving it. It's not your burden. That's his burden and his yoke. In the mighty name of Jesus. His burden. And his yoke. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we don't want no parts of it. What is a yoke anyway? We know what a burden is. What's a yoke? Did you know. And in, in, in right now. When farmers have oxen. To plow the field. They get two oxen. An oxen here. An oxen there. A pair of them. And they have a wooden beam. This wooden beam they is is yoked. It's, it's like a wooden beam and they yoke the oxen together as a pair so they can push that heavy burden. They put that yoke around their neck. They put that wooden beam and that wooden yoke around around both the pairs of the oxen's neck or any kind of animal's neck. It helps them to pull the load, to pull the plow into the field. They're yoked together with a wooden beam. They're yoked. That's where that word yoke come from. When the Bible says that it removes burden, it destroys yokes. Just like those pair of oxen is yoked together and they have to pull a heavy load. That's, that's what the enemy does to us. He puts a yoke on us. A heavy load on us. A heavy burden. And we're yoked to it. We just stuck to it. And we're attached to it. And we can't get loose. But the anointing oil removes that yoke off of you. The same way the farmer... If he wants to remove that wooden beam off the oxen's neck, they usually oil it with down with some fat. They put fat around the oxen's neck. They put fat around the oxen's neck and it loosens the yoke when they want to take it off the oxen. Do you see the do you see this do you see the the agreement? Do you see the similarity? The same way that wooden beam that's yoked around that oxen's neck has to be anointed with oil or loosened up with oil before they can remove it it's the same way that God the anointing around you around that around your neck where that yoke is put by the enemy it loosens it and destroys it so father God we praise you and adore you we glorify your name God we thank you for the anointing oil we thank you the anointing oil is placed right now upon our necks Upon the yoke and the burden is being loosened because of the anointing. The burden is being, is being loosened because of the anointing. The anointing is the fat that's loosening that yoke off of our neck in the name of It's loosening that yoke off of your neck. I don't know what's on you. I don't know what burden is on you. I don't know what you're suffering. But the anointing oil is going around your neck right now. And it's loosening that yoke off of your neck and it's destroying it off of you right now. Receive your anointing. Receive the anointing that's breaking that yoke off your neck. It's breaking it right now. The yoke breaking anointing is flowing in your home, flowing in your car, it's flowing in your business. It's flowing right now in the name of Jesus. The yoke is being removed. The yoke is being destroyed. The burden is being removed. The burden is being destroyed off of you. You don't have to carry that thing on your shoulders. You don't have to carry that thing on your neck any longer. If you just receive the anointing oil. In the name of Jesus Christ, it removes burdens and destroys yokes. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, the original Hebrew word for anointing is shaman. S-H-A-M-E-N. Shaman. That's the original Hebrew 
deaf word, word for yoke. And it literally means fatness. The word anointing in the Hebrew, the literal word definition of anointing is fatness. The yoke, so we could say that the yoke will be destroyed because of the fatness. Remember we talked about that farmer has to put oil, oils that ox his neck down with some type of oil or fatness. You see the, see the similarity? You see the similarity? So that oil, that anointing is the same word as fatness. And the NIV version says it plainly. It says, in that day, their burden shall be lifted from their shoulders, their yoke from off their neck, and the yoke will be broken because you have grown so fat. That fatness, the fat that you have been, you're so anointed now. Then and you so drenched with the anointing. It's breaking off that, breaking off them yokes. It's breaking off them burdens. It's breaking off oppression. It's breaking off disease. It's breaking off sickness. It's breaking off the coronavirus. It's breaking off of all kinds of wickedness, all kinds of bondage is breaking off those prison cells It's breaking off them chains it says it said the yoke will be the broken because you've grown so fat you're so anointed now you've grown so fat you've been studying the bible you've been studying to show yourself approved or work with the need if not to be ashamed rightly divine and word of truth and the anointing has increased you've grown so fat the yoke will be broken because you've grown so fat the niv version says You've been praying and praying and praying and seeking God's face for yourself and others and being a strong intercessor for, your, for, for, for other people and praying for yourself and your family, your nation, your government. You've been praying for the church. You've been praying and praying. And then anointing oil has been increased. That anointing has been increased. You've grown so fat. The Bible says, the NIV verse says, the yoke will be broken because you've grown so fat. You've increased your anointing through this pandemic. And nothing can hold you down. Nothing can hold a good woman down that's anointed. Nothing can hold a good man down that's anointed. That's, come on, somebody. Nothing can hold a good child down, a good boy, a good girl down. That, 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 if that child or that boy or girl is anointed. Oh, in that day, their burden will be lifted from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and the yoke will be broken because you've grown so fat because of the anointing because of the shaman that's the hebrew word for anointing the shaman with is translated fatness you're fat <laughs> you're do you're so fat now see if you tell somebody they fat in the natural they get offended you walk up to tell somebody girl you're so fat you know god you gained so much weight to this pandemic you fat now they would be offended but in the spirit realm if somebody call you fat now that's a compliment. That means you are you have a high, highly, highly superpowered anointing on your life. You, I, I, I'm here to say today, you're fat. You're anointed. You've grown fat in Jesus' mighty name. God, we give you praise for that. So in your prayer life, when you pray, incorporate the anointing, the bird removing, yoke destroying, power of God. The virus removing, virus destroying, power of God. The disease removing, disease destroying, power of God. The debt removing, debt destroying, power of God. The calamity removing, calamity destroying, power of God. The cancer removing, the cancer destroying, power of God. Whatever it is that's not of God, the anointing will remove it and destroy it. Remember that it, don't, it does not only remove it, it destroys it so it won't come back. It destroys it. It causes it to be annihilated, disintegrated, eradicated, obliterated, and blown to smithereens. It's not existent. That's what the anointing does. Oh, God, we give you praise. God, we give you glory, oh God. We thank you for your anointing, God. We thank you for your anointing. The anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. In that day, you say his burden shall be removed off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. 
and the and and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing. The yoke will be destroyed because we've grown so fat. The anoint will be destroyed because of the fatness. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, we're so oily. We're so anointed that we just slip right out of the enemy's hands. The enemy cannot grasp you. He cannot really handle you. You're too anointed. You just slip right out of his paws. Slip right out of his grips and slip right out of his hand because you're anointed. Cool. Right now, there's an anointing. There's an anointing flowing. There's an anointing flowing right now. There's an anointing flowing right now. It's been released from heaven. Jesus Christ. The word Christ means the anointed one and his anointing. Christ means to find the anointed one and his anointing and Christ the anointed one is releasing his anointing all over you all over everything you possess all over your family all over your business all over your job all over your church all over your city all over your state all over your country all over your nation all over the world there's an anointing for our con God's people receive your anointing today it's the burden removing yoke destroying power of God we anoint today. We can fight the good fight of faith because we're anointed. We can come out of our trial and tribulation because we're anointed. We can get deliverance because we're anointed. We can get saved and set free because we're anointed. We can you you right now. You, you. You can, you can get broke out of your prison cell because you are anointed. You are anointed today. You can come out of that situation and circumstance because you, you, you are anointed today. You are anointed today. You are anointed today with the burden removing. Yoke destroyed. Power of God. In Jesus name. Thank you Lord God. For hearing us today as we prayed. Thank you Jesus. For ministering to us through your word. In Isaiah 10 27. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you Jesus. Amen. Now if you're not saved. There's no anointing on you. There's no, only the oil is upon the children of God. That burnt removing yoke strain power of God is upon the children of God. It ain't upon the sinner. And you need an anointing in this day, day and town we live. In the last day, you need to be anointed. You, in other words, you need Jesus. Jesus Christ, the anointed one, as in, and his anointing. If you want the anointed one, Jesus Christ, in your life, let me, let me lead you in a simple prayer. I know you want Jesus. I know because he loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. Let me lead you in a simple prayer. Repeat after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. I come to you. You said that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord, they will be saved. Repeat it. I'm calling upon your name. I'm calling upon your name, which is Jesus. I'm asking you to save me. Save me and set me free. You said, if I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. With my mouth, I confessed it. And with my heart, I believe it. Now, if you pray this simple prayer according to Romans chapter 10, you are a child of God. You are a child of God. You, know, you need to do a few things to stay walking in the power of the anointing of God. Then you need to get a prayer life. You need to talk to God every day in the name of Jesus Christ. Talk to God. Communicate with him like you communicate with your best friend. Because he is a friend that takes it closer than a brother. Talk to God in prayer and get a Bible. A translation that you can read. A good, strong translation that you can read. Because reading the word is like eating food. You, it's, it's your bread and butter. It's your nourishment. So read your word. Talk to God in prayer. And ask God in your prayer time. Lead me to a good church. Lead me to a good church. That I could join up with other believers. And grow with the family of God. In Jesus name. Welcome to the family. Well. Saints, I'll see you next time on the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with God. I'll see you next time on the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with heaven. Bye-bye. I love you.